tell me the name of your film and tell me a little bit about it. Okay. Uh, the name of our documentary is John G. Avildsen, King of the Underdogs. It's a heavy title. And uh, it's about the director of Rocky and the Karate Kid. He won an Oscar for Rocky. And uh, we uh, wanted to make this film about John because we just felt that he's kind of like this almost forgotten legendary filmmaker that made all these wonderful films. And uh, we just wanted to recapture his spirit. And uh, he'll be here at our world premiere on Saturday. So very excited. He he's 81 years old now. And he had about a 40 year career and he's made some of the best movies of all time. Did he stick strictly with boxing films? Or? He didn't. He did, he did the Karate Kid trilogy. He did uh, two Rockies. He did Lean on Me uh, with Morgan Freeman. Uh, he directed Marlon Brando. He directed Jack Lemmon to his only Oscar, uh, best actor Oscar win. He gave Martin Scorsese his first job. I mean, this guy's just been around and done it all, and yet he's not a household name. So we're trying to change that with our film. Great. How does it feel to have your film at the Santa Barbara Festival? It's pretty unbelievable. I, I mean, it's, this is my first time to have a film at a festival in general, so I'm, I'm just kind of reeling right now. How do you guys feel? Excited. It's amazing. It's a very prestigious film festival, so we're, we're honored to be here. Now, you're the composer. I am. A... Can you talk about trying to score a film like this when you're trying to encapsulate maybe someone's career? Yeah, well, um, Derek wanted it to be scored as a like a narrative film, right? Like a t to tell a story, so that that's, that's what we did. It, it helped. It made my job easier. The, the challenge was uh, was uh, coming in and out of some Bill Conti music, which, <laughs> which, which was uh, is in there as well, which is exciting. So it's great to be a part of it. And what did you? What role did you? Play? I was the executive producer on the film. So once I got a chance to really see how much had gotten on, about what, halfway through was when I came on, and I'll tell you what, it, it was a no-brainer. This film is it's inspiring. It uh, it's going to change the people's lives. And John Allison, you know, Jack Lemmon, Saving the Tiger. You go as far back as him all the way to you know Jean-Claude Van Damme, he's even directed, to be honest. So he's a guy that a lot of people need to know about, and he never had, I don't think, a publicist, right? He didn't, he didn't really try to get his name out there. And so once approached and, and seeing the opportunity, I felt like it was a no-brainer to jump on board. Excellent. And what did you feel some of the challenges in making the film were? Some of the challenges? Well, I think maybe the director should uh, answer that one. <laughs> well, well, you're one of the producers. You, you, he's well aware of some of the challenges. It's just, uh, he's going to throw that my way, uh, uh, which is fine. That's a typical producer answer right there. I'm kidding. Uh, a lot of the challenges were, uh, well, you know, it was, a, it, was a, it was a fun process, but a lot of the challenges were getting clearances for all of the film clips that John, we, we cover so many of his films, we had to get clearances through all of those films. And uh, that was that took months and months and months and months. So it's like we made the film, we interviewed all these great people, and we edited it together. And it's like, well, we have to like, you know, get the rights to, to do this film. So uh, that was that was pretty challenging, but uh, we uh, our lawyers took care of it. So <laughs> I was gonna say, so since he had so many films, so many big films from so many studios, did the studios cooperate since it was a documentary? We actually did. Uh, the, we used the fair use doctrine. We had a fair use uh, clearance council come in and help us uh, clear everything. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so for someone who may not know what that means, how, what is fair use exactly? Well, fair use is great for independent filmmakers because if you can't afford the rights to these big studio films. If you if if you know you're shooting a film for peanuts, if you clear it through fair use and a fair use attorney, then you can legally use clips, but the, the your attorneys craft the film to where it complies. And so that's what we ended up doing and it and it saved us uh, big time on, on this film. Not that the studios wouldn't comply with us, but we just couldn't afford it. So fair use is great for, for these types of films. Absolutely. And what would you what would you like audience to take away from this film? You know, everyone has an underdog in them in this world, and I think this story people can relate to, uh, in that inner, inner inner soul of trying to fight for that dream or whatever it may be that you're trying to do in life. Uh, we all have to overcome some kind of obstacle, and it might be in, in ourself, it might be an obstacle at work, it might be an obstacle in a relationship, but this, this kind of uh, film can make you inspired that no matter what, if you're an underdog in this world, you can get through it. Excellent. Well, thank you so much. We look forward to seeing it. King of the Underdogs. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you.